All right, here's my first video of Lopan, and I've been waiting to get a video of him, hoping that he would kind of relax a little bit, get out of his litter box, and I could get a better video, but everybody's waiting for one, and sort of time's kind of up, so this is a very, very high-strung teenager boy who is highly active, highly intelligent, highly uh, needy, vocal, um, opinionated, worried, concerned, sensitive, beautiful, um, busy, uh, needy, did I say needy? Um, and we always get these cats in and we think, oh my gosh, they're going to go in a New York minute. They're just so gorgeous and beautiful and typical Siamese. They're actually very difficult to place because the type of home they need is really um, a fairly specific one. And the, and the number one the criteria is a ton of attention. These cats are like infants. They, they really are very, very dependent on people. They require a lot of interaction. They require sleeping with you, being with you, showering with you, toileting with you, cooking with you, pretty much doing everything with you. They require a lot of supervision because if they're left alone, they get into trouble. Um, and that's the reason that this guy's been given up is he belonged to someone who loved him dearly um, and, you know, led a fairly normal, busy life, but worked some long hours. And as um, she had to travel a little bit for work, not huge, but a little bit, and he was all by himself. He would um, suck on his tail and bite on his tail and um, be a little destructive in the home. And, and by that, I just mean you know, kind of knocking things over and making messes and, and stuff because he just needs his people. So keep that in mind. And then the other thing that is a little tough um, for this guy is he has no other cat experience. So that's not to say he can't learn. Um, this is a tough place to learn. This is like going from, you know, never seeing um, another child to being thrown into, you know, a New York City kindergarten or something. I mean, really, there's a lot of cats here, a lot of smells, noises, and turnover, and it's it's very tough for a sensitive cat like this. So we're up against um, a lot of different things, trying to get some good videos and some good information about him. So going into a home with other cats, you know, is possible, but um, if, again, if that happens, his adopter needs to be ready for a, a, quite a lot of work to integrate the cats. Um, this is not going to be your normal, you know, 7 to 14 day isolation, let them out, we think we have a great match and everybody gets along. This may be much more difficult than that. And I'm not even convinced yet it's possible. Um, you know, I've, I'm starting to think about trying to let him out with the others, but he really, here I am with the cage door open, he's not so anxious to, to leave the cage. He's still too nervous. He has been hissing when he sees the other cats a bit. That's not abnormal, necessarily. Uh, he's also looking with curiosity. He's watching cats now walk behind me. So um, it can happen. It just isn't going to happen overnight. So again, the number one criteria for this gorgeous, gorgeous cat, age confirmed, health is great, uh, habits are good, um, but, but all of the intensity of a true Siamese wedge that, um, <laughs> you know, and this is, this is a body language right here, his turning his back to me. But anyway, all of that intensity really has to be taken into consideration um, for whoever adopts this cat. And you've got to have a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of desire, um, and a lot of commitment. So, you know, I, I would not surprise me that someone wouldn't work hard for six months to get this cat well integrated into their household. No, he's not gonna, you know, bite and scratch and pee and, you know, do things that, that, that make it impossible to keep him, but, you know, he's gonna cry and he's going to need you a lot and he's going to be nervous and upset, maybe pace and circle, um, maybe suck his tail, those sort of anxiety type behaviors you may be very likely to see. So hope I haven't turned everybody off from adopting this guy. He's going to be a great, great cat. But the true Siamese, very intense,
cat for the right and it's got to be the right person I mean this was a this was a solid cat owner who gave him up um, without question just not home enough for him um, we have pictures with the child who's looked to be eight nine ten years old just hugging him and carrying him and you know great stuff but you've got to be home a lot you've got to be home a lot for this type of cat um, and you know he's pretty much ready to go he needs to see our vet for um, a, just a quick look over and an update on a rabies but he's pretty much ready to go